Hey guys, I'm here at the National Aviation Museum on NAS Pensacola. There it is right behind me. That's the, that's the museum. And I'm gonna go in and check it out and uh, hopefully get a little bit of video for you. It's a really cool place to see. There's a, there's a lot here. They got a lot, of, a lot of really cool things and exhibits to look at. So we're gonna go in and check it out. It's uh, really windy and rainy today. So it's a good time to be inside. This is just coming in the front door. We've got a lot to see here though. It's a really big museum in a lot of different sections. They have it, they kind of have it sectioned off. You have a World War I section and then World War II and then they have a hangar bay. They got a lot of cool stuff. So we'll see what kind of good footage I can get for you. I know right now I want to come right over here to the left and check out the stuff on the aircraft carriers. I want to see if we can find something right there on the USS Lexington. And I, I'm aware that, uh, no, the Enterprise. I think there was two Enterprises, but the USS Lexington was stationed at Pensacola. And my granddad did a lot of work for the Lexington. That's one of the props off the USS Intrepid, 15 foot in diameter and 27,000 pounds. This side right here represents World War I. That's the first one to fly across the Atlantic for the Navy. Abby says hello. Hi. So how many of you guys out there are Blue Angels fans? Well, in case you didn't know, fun fact, the Blue Angels are stationed here on NES Pensacola, right here in Pensacola. And they have a couple air shows every year here. They have a homecoming show in November, and then they have a, a air show on Pensacola Beach every, I believe it's just after 4th of July. It's usually a week or two after the 4th. And they're spectacular. They go all over the world, all over the country doing air shows. And they're stationed right here in NES. This section right here is going to represent World War II. Imagine having to sit in this thing.
Archie Donahue had just returned with his flight from a long, uneventful patrol. Uh, Sunken treasures from Lake Michigan. He's supposed to have recovered a couple aircraft from the bottom of the lake and then restored them. So let's check it out. I know this is gonna be really dark and you can't see it very well on video, but they said that they set these up to make it look exactly how they found on the bottom of the lake. There's another one over there too. A bomb finds the A bomb. So this is the Enterprise that I was looking for. It's upstairs and the most decorated ship of World War II. This one I got the pleasure to see one time. They had it here in Pensacola on an NAS docked here. We got to go out and take a look at it. Abby found something cool. What'd you find? Cool. U.S. Navy blimp. That is called the K-47. Very cool. It's a blimp. There's some info about the, not, not blimp, but an airship built by Goodyear, delivered in 1943. Cool shot of the, the Blue Angels here. How cool is this, guys? Got a really cool space exhibit here too. There's one of the return capsules. Let's check that out. engineering that just went into making this stuff
this section up here kind of brings back a lot of memories for me. All these little different cockpits. And there's some more. There's some more over here. And whenever I was a kid, my mom brought me and all my cousins here. I don't know, I was probably seven, eight years old. And I remember being up here sitting in these cockpits. And I've got some pictures of them somewhere. I've got to find them. But, of course, you know, they've, they've really built onto this place and it looks different. But I remember seeing these cockpits and sitting in them. I think even Abby's enjoying it, too. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Does it make you want to become a pilot? A little bit. It's a tight seat, though. It is. They weren't made for A-bomb-sized people. <laughs> This is really cool getting to see the cutaways. Here's a there's a Westinghouse jet engine. A J40. All you mechanical geeks out there, you're missing out. You need to come check this out in person. So you can it shows you how to a J34 engine operates. Go ahead and give us a preview. This one? Yeah. Is it not working? Maybe it's not working. I don't know. It says push to run, but it's trying to run. Oh well. There, here is a right cyclone radial engine and you can see it operate how much fun is that here's a cool model of a of a aircraft carrier i think it was the uss cassarge and they made it out of plastic so you can kind of see how it looks on the inside of, a, of an aircraft carrier. I, what I think is pretty cool, the engine room is obvious, obviously in there and you can see the shafts or the prop shafts starting there and coming all the way back. Those are some long prop shafts right there. All right, we just made it out of the main museum, which is right here. And there's a couple other exhibits you can go in. I, I got to find out about that over there. But this is the other big one that I've never been in called Hangar Bay 1. And there's supposed to be a lot of cool stuff over here. There's an Apollo exhibit here, which is really neat. And we'll find out what else they got. So this is coming inside Hangar Bay 1. There's the Apollo exhibit right over there. We'll check that out. So they got one of these helicopters on display. They call the Sea King. And I believe we get to go inside and check it out. Looks like Nixon's in there. There's a rover over there. I've never seen one of those. At least 20% performance. Why 
they have a section right here that we just come in that's for the U.S. Coast Guard. So the USS Oriskany, there's a, there's a model of it that was scuttled south of Pensacola out in the Gulf of Mexico and is used as a diving reef now. All right guys, that's about it for our tour of the National Aviation Museum. I highly suggest that you come here and check this place out, it's totally awesome. You can spend many hours here going around and looking at all the planes and, and all the exhibits that they have. So, excellent. Highly recommended. Come down here and check it out. All right.